Virgo, Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and welcome to another reading. Keep in mind that the energies can be vice versa. Also, keep in mind that this reading may or may not resonate for you. If it doesn't, feel free to check out your other placements. What's the overall energy between Leo and the person Leo is connecting with or will be connecting with for the month of January 2021? Come on, give me something. All right, we got wedding. Ooh. I like this. I don't think I've ever seen this combo before. You have religious factors and then you have wedding. I'm getting like the hair font to the high priestess with this, which is a true pair situation. But it also indicates a very strong spiritual connection that these two share with one another. Ooh. All right. Never seen that. I don't think I've ever seen that combo before. All right. Now I'm interested. Okay. Let's focus on you first, Leo. Then we'll jump over to this person. Still keep in mind you might resonate uh, with this person to the uh, right of me than you do with the person to the left of me. All right. How does Leo come with you this relationship? Okay. You got the moon. Cancer. Also Pisces. Seven of Cups. Scorpio energy with the devil. Capricorn energy at the bottom of the deck. You do have the five of pentacles. Taurus energy. Does kind of look like you're getting out of this energy currently at the moment. This situation that you find yourself in with this person in particular, it's very, very overwhelming for you. You could be connecting with somebody who has the tendency of sending you mixed signals. Uh, and because this, this connection between you and this person is starting to become very toxic here, it is causing you essentially uh, to walk away from this person. Um, but in the midst of you walking away from this person, you're stumbling across somebody else. Which I do feel like it's this person, whoever this is, okay? I don't know who this person is, but I just feel like this person kind of falls into alignment with what it is that you're looking for and what it is that you're seeking for. But I keep getting the high priestess with the hair font with these two people in particular. Maybe the two of you are very deep into spirituality. That could always be a possibility, but whoa. That's all I got to say. Come on, get it together. So yeah, as you're as you're closing the door here and walking away from this this toxic situation that you find yourself in with this person in particular, you're crossing paths with someone else here. Ooh, okay. Let's go over here. How does this person currently view this relationship? A Leo. get down to the bottom of this okay oh seven of swords aquarian energy ace of swords gemini libra also aquarius with the four of wands mm. uh-huh yeah someone's coming in leo i'm sorry but i feel like someone else is kind of coming into this whole situation here I feel like you're attracting a whole nother situation here. Whether you intend to or not, you are attracting a whole nother situation to you, okay? And I feel like this person has their eyes set on you. Uh, this is somebody who's very consistent, very persistent. Um, this is somebody who's looking at you, uh, and you have this person's full and undivided attention. The sun is Leo energy. But... Remember that I said that you were dealing with somebody who has like the tendency of sending you mixed signals. Um, and I kind of feel like this whole relationship with you is just flat out confusing. And it's, you're just like, I can't take this anymore. I need to walk away. Um, what's interesting is that the seven of swords is typically somebody who's very indirect. And it kind of looks like the indirect person over here is now becoming very direct and blunt when it comes down to what it is that they want with you and what it is that they're trying to essentially establish with you, which is a firm foundation with you here. So it kind of looks like this person has been keeping you in limbo for quite some time. And now it kind of looks like this person is choosing uh, to be very honest with you and very vocal with you about what it is that they want with you and what it is that they see with you in reference to this relationship is concerned. But that's fine because I feel like you got someone else coming in. And I kind of feel like this person's doing it because now you're, you know, you've left the building here. And I feel like that's honestly what's pushing this person to just be upfront and honest. 
uh, with what it is that they're thinking in reference to you and this relationship with you. But then we got someone here, just there, you know. And again, this is somebody that you're going to stumble across if you haven't already. For some of you, you already have. But as you're walking away from this one, you're... You're heading towards something else here. And the, you know what the interesting about all of this is? Is that I don't necessarily feel like you left this relationship and then you automatically, you know, decided, you know what, I'm just going to go and, and look for love. I don't, I don't feel like it's going to play out that way. I just feel like you're stumbling across this person in particular. I do. Kind of like by accident, by chance, so to speak. How does Leo feel about this relationship? Okay. So you have the Queen of Cups, Cancer, Knight of Wands, Sagittarian energy with the Seven of Wands, Leo energy, and then you also have the Ten of Cups. Oh, here we go. Ace of Swords with the Four of Wands. Again, it's repetitive, but I kind of feel like this person of yours that was kind of leaving you in that state of confusion is now being very upfront and honest with you in reference to what it is that they want with you here. However, I kind of feel like this person that you're stumbling across, this is somebody that you definitely feel as though you could be able to obtain a 10 of cups sort of energy with them in particular. There's no doubt within your mind when it comes down to this person. I feel like this new person of yours is very upfront and very direct when it comes down to what it is that they see with you and what it is that they want with you. And I feel like that's what you like about this person, something that you weren't typically getting from this person from your past here. And again, you're really determined, dude, to honestly see this relationship through here because this person really does make you happy. They fall into alignment with what it is that you're looking for. You're very passionate about this person, very determined to establish a relationship with this person in particular. But then you got someone else over here who's now deciding to essentially confess their love to you out of nowhere, right? Okay. How does this person feel about this relationship? Okay. Three of Pentacles, Capricorn energy, Five of Swords, Aquarian energy, and then we have the Nine of Swords. I feel like this is the person from your past. Um, Leo, again, you have someone here who has their eyes set on you, only you, and they're thinking about establishing a brand new beginning with you in, in hopes that it'll lead uh, the two of you to a Ten of Cups sort of energy here. So with that being said, we got this person from your past here. With the Nine of Swords and the Five of Swords. So let's take the Three of Pentacles out really quickly. It does kind of look like whatever transpired between you and this person in the past, it does kind of look like it's been weighing on this person's mind. Um, and because of that, it does kind of look like it's causing this person to essentially come in and try to fix things with you here. Um, this person might have decided to kind of self-sabotage this connection here by not being upfront honest with what it is that they're thinking and feeling in reference to you and this relationship with you. And that's something that this person would like to essentially work on. Oh, Leo. What actions uh, will Leo take towards this person or moving forward? See, there goes that, that Hierophant energy, okay, that I was feeling. We have Death here, Scorpio energy with the Eight of Wands, Sagittarian energy with the Seven of Pentacles, Taurus energy. At the bottom of the deck, you do have the Hierophant along with the Chariot. It does kind of look like towards the end, you're deciding to kind of move towards this, this new person of yours, this person that you feel a very strong spiritual connection to, it does look like you're deciding to essentially focus all of your time and your attention onto this person that you're currently um, interacting with or somebody that you just so happen to kind of stumbled across. As you're walking away from this connection with this person in particular, it does kind of look like someone is just kind of 
it, I just feel like you're stumbling across this person. I don't feel like you went looking for this person or anything like that. I just feel like you stumbled across this person and you just so happen to feel a very strong spiritual connection with this person and you're going with it. Um, so as far as getting back together with this past person of yours is concerned, I, I, I don't. I don't see that happening. I don't. How did, I mean, what actions will this person take towards Leo or moving forward? We have the devil. I don't like this. With the eight of cups and the seven of Pentacles. At the bottom of the deck, we do have the Three of Cups with Justice and the Seven of Wands with the Two of Cups and the King of Swords. There goes that hair font. This person, the fact that you don't want to come back together with this person is really pissing this person off. Um, because again, to them, it's like the way that they're viewing this is, well, if I'm being open and honest with you now about how I feel about you, what is it I want with you? And here I am trying to fix things with you. That should matter to you. You should, you should see Leo that I'm trying to make things right with you. You should see that I'm putting in the effort. You should see that you should see that. Um, and because you're not seeing that it's really pissing this person off. I don't know what to say. I feel like you're going to be like, what do you want me to do? Too, too little, too late, right? But it's pissing them off because they're, they're looking at you like, here I am trying to show you that I really do want you. I'm telling you that I care. I'm telling you that I want to be back together with you, whatever the case may be. I'm trying to fix it. I'm trying to fix it. You don't, you just don't appreciate me and all the effort that I'm putting towards you in this relationship with you. And, you know, this person just wants you to see Leo that, you know, they're trying to, you know, fix things and do right by you this time around here. And the fact that you just don't appreciate it, nor do you see it, it's just upsetting to this person. And more than likely, it's just going to push this person to just flat out walk away from you. But like I said, enough about this one over here. You got someone here that... I mean, I don't know who this person is, but they're they're showing up as a hair font as well. That's a very strong spiritual connection between two people here. This is somebody who's very persistent, somebody who's very consistent, somebody who's very, very determined when it comes down to you and this relationship with you. Something that you weren't getting from this person that's coming back around like, well, I did this for you and I'm trying to do this and I'm trying to fix it. You should see that. You should acknowledge that, but you don't, you don't care about me. You know, all of this stuff. But I just feel like you're just like, you might not even respond back to this person. I feel like you're being so quiet when it comes down to this person in particular. If in the event, which it kind of looks like they will, they're more than likely going to extend themselves to you. And I don't necessarily feel like you have anything to say to this person. I don't. I don't. I feel like you made your decision to kind of walk away. And you just so happen to stumble across, you know, somebody, you know, by chance. And whoever this is, is somebody that you feel a very strong spiritual connection to. And you're not going to let this person get in the way of that. So yes, they're gonna they're gonna be a little bit pissed off because to them it's like you just don't see how much I'm trying to kind of show you that I really do want things to change. I'm really trying to do right by you this time around. You know, like why don't you see it? Why don't you get it? You know, but I just feel like it's one of those situations where it's like too little, too late. You know, I don't know. Any advice for Leo in regards to the spread? Look at that. This is what you're letting go of. This relationship with this person is very, very toxic. It's very overwhelming. I feel like this, you know, this person kind of left you in the air when it came down to this relationship and where things were honestly heading between you and this person. You're choosing to let it go and let them go. Again, I don't even feel like you're going to say anything to this person. I think that you're just going to let it be because right now you have other things to kind of you know, 
worry about and focus on, which I do feel like it's the strong connection between you and this person. Um, we have you deserve love. You are lovable. We have free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life, which is exactly what it is that you're doing here. And then we also have express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. I feel like this is you following your heart. I do. And I feel like this all kind of stems from the this very decision that you chose to kind of make as far as letting this person go, releasing this person out of your life. And you just so happen to stumble across the, the right one is almost what I want to say. Okay. Well, I feel like this person is not going to be successful at getting you back. Uh, and I feel like, you know, they're going to eventually kind of come to terms with that and they'll eventually walk away and give up. Um, but they just want you to see that they're trying to fix things. They're trying to do things right. But I just feel like you're over it already. I do. I feel like you're over it. You've moved past that. You don't really care for this person or this connection anymore, especially when you have someone that literally falls into alignment with what it is that you're seeking for and looking for. So, yeah, hopefully that reading uh, or this reading, I'm sorry, resonates with you. Hopefully it brings you some clarity in regards to whoever it is that you're connecting with or will be connecting with. And um, but yeah, well, I guess I'll see you in your next reading. They'll get over it. They'll get over it. They will. All right. Bye.